Hey, fifth period chemistry. <laughs> We're <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do this. Hey, fifth period chemistry. We are doing a awesome experiment to see which type of soft drink has the most carbonation. It is it either Coca Cola, Dr Pepper, or Pepsi. We're going to be experimenting with both regular drinks and diet drinks, which we'll do later. And I'm sorry, Sam. You're not in this video. <laughs> it's not for you. Now, open all of them. We're opening all of the bottles. And see, you can already hear how much pressure is in each drink as we open the cap. All the gas is escaping. That was pressurized. Learned it from you, Miss Yesik. Um, and now we're taking the, the balloons, which have been filled with two tablespoons mm -hmm. of baking soda. Regular old Arm & Hammer. Now, what we're going to be doing is opening it slightly, opening the balloon top slightly, and without getting any baking soda in there, we're going to cover the bottle top, like so. We get the other one. And then we got this one. These are 20 ounce bottles. All of them are 20 ounces. And Coke is 240 calories, 250 calories for Dr. Pepper, and 250. 250. So this one has the least amount of calories, but maybe it has the most amount of carbonation. According to a poll that I did this morning and this afternoon, two people say that Pepsi will have the most carbonation, so that means make the balloon the biggest. Two other people say that Coke will make it the biggest, make the balloon grow the biggest. And one person says that Dr. Pepper's balloon will be the biggest. We shall see. You want to do it at the same time? Or? Yeah, we're going to do it. Okay, on the <laughs> okay, on on count of three. three, we're going to do it. One, so one, two, two three. three. Hold the balloon. Go back down, go back down. Uh, okay, so um, we can take off the balloons, take off the balloons, and then make sure you hold it. Okay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's put it in the sink. It's a tie between Coke and Pepsi. Okay, we're back. And now, I actually think Coke is bigger. Okay, so if you, they look somewhat the same size. But actually, Coke, when you put it, hmm. see, Coke, Pepsi. Pepsi, and then Dr. Pepper. So, obviously, it looks like Coke, for the regular drinks, has the most carbonation. <laughs> Thank you. And now, we have diet. Wait. We have diet. We have Diet Coke, Diet Dr. Pepper, and Diet Pepsi. Pepsi. <sighs> I'm scared of this one. Okay, let's open them up. And even though these are diet, they still have a lot of carbonation. So let's see if they have the same amount of carbonation as the regulars do. They may, they may not. I think oh, it's going to be good. Because this is the sound. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so this is the poll for diets. No one says that Pepsi is going to have the most carbonation. Two people say that Coke is going to have the most uh, carbonation, <laughs> the biggest balloon. And Dr. Pepper, three people say that it'll have the most. So let us see. We shall repeat the process of placing the balloon with two tablespoons of baking soda once again over the tops of the drinks. Make sure they're Very, holding it. <laughs> yes, make sure if you ever do this at home be prepared to clean up a lot of mess. So make sure that the tops are on very securely. 
Do you get on? Okay. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. On the count of three, we shall do this again. Okay. This, this one's already, one's... like, feel it. This is already, like, have air to it. Oh, wow. Yeah, already. There's already air. There's so much buildup of carbonation in the Dr. Pepper, it is already making it solid. And everybody Compared else is Compared to Pepsi's, which is very flat. And, and then... Uh, Coke is actually starting to a little bit. Yeah. So, obviously, Pepsi will more than likely not have the highest amount of carbonation. Okay. Ready? One, two, two three... three. And this is what the floor and the counter <laughs> looks like after Dr. Pepper exploded. Okay, so concluding this video, we the polls that we have taken, they were true for the diet, obviously. Um, did we get... Regular, what did we come? Well, it was a tie in between Pepsi and Coke, and which is pretty much the truth because mm -hmm. Coke had the most, and then it was second for Pepsi, and then the last was Dr. Pepper in the amount of liquid that was held in the balloon after the experiment. <clears throat> and for the diet, <clears throat> we had zero for Pepsi, which I think is. Pretty accurate, because Pepsi took, I mean, it, it did the reaction that we wanted it to, but as it wasn't saw. as much as Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper blew it out of the water. Pepsi, Pepsi, I mean, not Coke, Pepsi. Coke was getting, it was getting up there, but Dr. Pepper, I don't think it got all of the baking soda in there. and just exploded. So, so. And as you could see, I mean, you already saw how much pressure was built up in the uh, neck of the balloon when you put it on there. And we think that because there was no sugar in the diets, that they have more carbonation in order to give the same mm -hmm. amount of pleasure, taste, and whatever else you want to call it. Yeah. So, Dr. Pepper won for diet. And we... Yeah, so always listen to the instructor on the video because things may happen. <laughs> so, and if you if you're ever going to do anything with a diet drink and baking soda, I highly suggest to go outside and wear I guess wear clothes that you're not you're not gonna care about. Obviously, we wore t-shirts and shorts that we did not care about. Um, but we did do it inside, so I suggest not to do it inside. To do it outside, it'll be a lot better, so you don't have to clean up the mess. The rain will do that for you. Yep. So, bye. Bye. Enjoy it.